tell you that being a scholar of language was an invaluable asset throughout my life. And because of that, I'd like to invite you to consider the derivation, not only of the word halal, but the family of language from which the term halal comes, which is actually a series of languages that probably date back somewhere to at least the Assyrian kingdom and possibly much earlier than that. If we actually think about the word halal, which as we know now in modern interpretations means permissible, before, it actually had a much deeper meaning. It had a meaning that involved not just permissible, but good for the well-being of humanity. It wasn't just about laws, and it wasn't just about facts, and it wasn't just about following orders. It was about understanding that we as human beings actually come with an operating system, and that operating system has a code, and the code, if we follow the code, is actually aligned with the best expression of who we are and the best expression of what we can be. And halal is a part of a much deeper principle, and that deeper principle is sharia, one of the most misbranded and misknown and mislabeled principles in our modern time. But sharia, if we go back to the 7th century and the 8th century, actually had a very profound meaning. Sharia was not just the path, as we know the term to mean now, but it actually, many scholars believe, meant the path to the source, or the path to the spring. I'd like you to sit with that for a moment. Think about the region of Persia. Think about the region of Mesopotamia. Think about the region of the Arab Peninsula. And ask yourself, what is the importance of the path to a spring, the path to the source? And it turns out that if you actually spend time understanding what is the principle of Sharia, far from being a place where it is a draconian set of rules to keep people isolated and separated from one another, it is in fact the wisdom that says we are from source, and to source we will return. And there are many paths that we will take throughout our journey, but we will in fact come back to the source. And if we understand that Sharia was about paths to source and paths to pure water, and we think about the importance of what that represents as it represents its importance in our lives, we understand something else about halal. Halal is the principle of non-defilement. 